Hi, this is Scott with Anti-Gravity Batteries. Today I'm going over our heavy duty versions of our lightweight lithium ion motorcycle and power sports batteries. These batteries have proven to be a go-to battery for adventure bikes, touring bikes, Harley Davidsons and other V-Twins, ATVs, UTVs, and they are even used in street, track, and race cars. We get a lot of questions on these, so I'm gonna try to answer them all today. Now, if you are not familiar with anti-gravity batteries, we are a leader in lithium ion products for motorsports and energy storage. We make lightweight lithium starter batteries for cars, trucks, motorcycles, ATVs, UTVs, boats, farm equipment, and more. We also make deep cycle batteries for your RVs, bass boats, off-grid applications as well as jump starters and power stations. So if you're looking for lithium ion products, that's our specialty. As well, we help these guys win championships. In today's video, I will go over the heavy duty versions of our anti-gravity power sports battery. I'll explain the benefits they provide over our regular duty battery, and I'll explain the best uses and when and if you may need one. As usual, bear with me on the length of the video. It will have a lot of information so you can make the best decision and become more knowledgeable about lithium batteries in general. So let's get into it. Before getting into our heavy duty batteries, let me explain that the anti-gravity regular duty battery is perfectly fine in most all standard uses and will outperform the stock lead acid battery it replaces. But the reason we made the heavy duty version of the battery is because there are groups of riders or drivers that need a battery with more amp hour capacity and or more cranking power to fit their specific needs. Some of those examples are owners of Harley Davidson motorcycles or larger V-twin bikes that are difficult to start or have extra accessories. These larger V-twins are often customized or modified and can have higher compression motors. They have stereos, extra lighting, and other high draw accessories that will require more capacity and power than a regular duty lead acid or lithium battery. We also have a very large contingent of adventure and touring bike riders that are often riding in the middle of nowhere and they have extra accessories on their motorcycles like extra lighting, heated gear, GPS devices, and other electronics that typically a sports bike or an average street bike would not have. Last, we have the high performance automotive segment that uses our heavy duty batteries like the ATX 20 HD and the ATX 30 HD in their performance street cars like Mustangs, tuner cars, or in dedicated track and race cars. They use these smaller batteries to replace the big heavy lead acid battery in their cars and these ultra compact lightweight batteries same the massive weight and improve handling acceleration, braking, and other track related performance dynamics. So all these uses and more are perfect for these heavy duty versions of our anti-gravity lithium ion battery. Next, I will go into some basic facts about putting a larger and more powerful battery into your vehicle. I wanna take a second to answer some questions we often get about a larger or more powerful battery in a vehicle. The fact is a larger or more powerful battery will not hurt your vehicle whatsoever. In fact, you could put a car battery in your motorcycle and it would not harm it at all. The important thing to remember here and to understand is that a battery does not push energy into your vehicle systems or components. Your vehicle's components actually draw the energy they need from the battery. So the battery is just a storage vehicle that the accessories and system pull from. So a larger, more powerful 12 volt battery does not damage any part of your system because the battery is not forcing energy into the vehicle. Now I'll explain what the differences are between the standard and the heavy duty anti-gravity lithium ion batteries is. 
So what is the difference between our HD battery and our standard model? First, the heavy duty anti-gravity battery is the exact same physical size as the normal duty version. So there's no difference in the fitment at all. So the only difference is, is that we put a larger battery pack inside the plastic case itself. So that larger battery being bigger means that you have more amp hour capacity and more power in the same size battery. Next, I'll go into some facts about amp hours and lithium batteries. You've heard me mention the term amp hours several times in this video, and without going too deeply into this, simply put, amp hours designates how much energy is inside the battery itself. So the larger the amp hour number is, the bigger the battery pack is inside the battery case itself. So more amp hours means you'll have more reserve capacity and more cranking power due to having a larger battery. I wanna take a second to clarify something about amp hours in regards to lithium batteries. There is a term that the manufacturers of lithium power sports batteries used called PBEQ amp hours. The PB in PBEQ is abbreviation for lead acid. The EQ means equivalent, but this is not a real amp hour rating, but rather an arbitrary number given to allow the customer to understand they are getting a lithium battery that is roughly equivalent in performance to their lead acid battery. This rating is used because lithium is much more powerful and energy dense than lead acid, so even a smaller amp hour lithium battery will provide better starting than a lead acid battery with higher amp hour. Unfortunately, some companies post only this PBEQ amp hour rating. For example, a brand may claim their battery is 12 amp hours PBEQ, but the actual lithium battery they give you inside is only four amp hours. So you're not getting what you're thinking of getting. So to actually compare lithium batteries to each other, you should always seek out the real amp hours and call the manufacturer and ask for that. Anti-gravity uses both the PBEQ rating and the real amp hour rating on our website so you will always know the real amp hour ratings and can compare apples to apples against other manufacturers. So next I'll go over the benefits of a heavy duty battery. The HD version of our battery has more amp hour capacity and that means you will have more reserve capacity to keep your bike charged longer. For example, a battery with more amp hours will hold a charge longer so you would have more time before the bike drains the battery and you would not need to put it on a charger as often. Another benefit of having more amp hours is it allows you to power devices longer without draining the battery as much. For example, if you are powering or charging something from your bike like a phone or perhaps you needed to leave the lights on to set up your campsite. By having more amp hours, this will allow those devices to be powered longer without over discharging the battery as quickly. And last is starting. That will also be better in regular weather and in colder weather because a larger battery has more power and more overhead to provide this power. For example, during starting is the time when the highest current is drawn from the battery and when the largest voltage drop can occur. So a large battery can actually spin the motor faster while keeping the voltage higher during the start attempt and this results in a fatter spark for the ignition and a faster motor spin which results in a much better start. So overall a heavy duty battery is an advantage in most all respects and offers a bit more peace of mind. So next let's go into the limitations of batteries and what you should be aware of with any sized battery. A battery is not an infinite supply of energy and will not cure a faulty charging system or overcome a vehicle's problems that is caused by high parasitic draw or devices that consume a lot of energy such as stereos, lighting, aftermarket accessories, and other items. A battery is limited to its capacity and if you exceed that capacity, you will have a dead battery. So it's very important to make sure the battery is installed in a system where you do not have high parasitic drains and that you understand how much energy your system draws. In some circumstances, we have seen vehicles with so many extra accessories like heated clothing, stereos, HID lighting, and more, 
all going at the same time that they draw more energy than the vehicle's charging system can provide so the battery actually never gets charged and stays in a state of constant discharge. So just be aware of these factors, look at your system, cure your parasitic draws and you'll have batteries that last much longer in your vehicles. So at this time, I'll go over the heavy duty models that we have available. Currently we make four models in the heavy duty versions of our batteries because these sizes are the most common in vehicles that might benefit from a heavy duty battery, such as adventure bikes, touring bikes, ATVs and UTVs, and also performance cars looking to drop a lot of weight. First, I will go over the AT12BS and the ATX12HD. These particular sizes are very popular in many mid-sized street bikes up to 1300 cc's, including the adventure bikes, touring bikes, as well as ATVs and other power sports vehicles. Both of these heavy duty versions retain our restart built in jump starting feature, which you can learn more about in the video I have linked in the description below. In regards to the size of these batteries, they are both very similar. They both have the same length, and height and only differ by a half inch in their depth, with the ATX12 being a half inch deeper. In terms of amp hours, they offer an additional two amp hours compared to the standard duty version, which results in about 150 more cranking amps, which is substantial in such small and compact batteries. Then we have our ATX 20HD and our ATX 30HD. These are the largest standardized motorcycle and power sports sized case formats available and are found in larger touring bikes, larger V-twins like Harley Davidson's Victories and others. They are also often found in larger ATVs and UTVs and they are used a lot in the performance automotive crowd who use them to get the smallest, lightest, streetable battery possible. With the ATX 20 and the ATX 30 HD, we eliminate the restart feature. And the reason is to allow for the largest possible battery inside the case and also allow for the deepest discharge possible of the battery, which means you get the most reserve possible and the most power possible. Instead of the restart button on top of the battery, we have included a fuel gauge battery indicator. These batteries also have full protection of our battery management system, including overcharge, over discharge, and thermal protections, as well as cell balancing. The ATX 20 HD adds five more real amp hours compared to the standard duty ATX 20, and the ATX 30 HD adds a massive eight hours more of real amp hour capacity than the regular duty ATX 30. So these are extreme increases in amp hour capacity with these models, and they can really make a difference in extra starting ability, powering your accessories, and having that extra battery reserve. The fact is, is our HD batteries offer far more power and reserve capacity than any other similar sized battery on the market. So if you're looking for the most amp hour capacity and power possible, only anti-gravity batteries offers this. As a note to the performance car enthusiasts who may want to use the ATX 20 HD or the ATX 30 HD in their car, I want to point out that these batteries are lower on amp hours than our dedicated automotive size batteries, which you can also learn about in a link below in the description. So if you're going to use the ATX 20 HD or the ATX 30 for your street performance vehicle, you should make sure that you do not have many extra accessories or larger stereos or items that would draw a lot of energy. These these batteries are intended for bare bones performance cars, not regular passenger cars. We actually like to see a minimum of 30 to 40 amp hours used in passenger performance cars, but we understand the ultra high performance minded people will opt for the smallest, lightest batteries they can find. And if you are aware of these limitations of the batteries, they can be quite good, but we just want you to be aware they are lower amp hours, may require charging more often, but can work in your application. So in conclusion, the heavy duty versions of our batteries offer a significant increase in amp hours and cranking power over our standard batteries, or for that matter, any battery on the market in these same sizes. So when you need the best starting possible or the most reserved capacity, these are the go-to batteries in our lineup.
As always, if you have any questions, post them in the comments section below or call or email us for a detailed answer. We're here to help you make the best choice for your applications. If you got any benefit out of this video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified when we have any new videos and we will be posting more video reviews on our products as well as some lithium educational videos as we move forward. So, so long and thank you for watching.